Street Easy is partnering with local mortgage expert Melissa Cohn to answer some commonly asked financing questions. In this video, Melissa offers advice for current homeowners. When should homeowners lock in a rate and when should they float a rate? It really depends on when you're going to close and if it's a refinance or if it's a purchase. If you're purchasing and you know that you have a definitive closing date, um, there's so much uncertainty in the market, in the economic markets, you know, day to day that if you like the rate that you see, you should lock it in. If you're refinancing, unfortunately the marketplace with banks in this area is so clogged that it's taking more than the traditional 60-day lock in order to be able to get a loan approved and then close on a refinancing, especially if it's a condo and you have to do an assignment to avoid paying the mortgage recording tax. Um, most banks will give assignments, but some of them are taking up to three months to actually produce the assignments, which means that it'll take you probably four months to close, and the traditional lock-in in the New York marketplace is 60 days, so you, if you're refinancing, you really need to wait to lock-in until you're further along in the process.